That's actually a pretty cool little cruise. They let you drive their car and you go up on Mulholland Drive and they pull over in front of the Hollywood sign and the guy will get out and take pictures of you in the Ferrari with the Hollywood in the background. It's pretty cool. And there's one little spot that you can just hammer it and get up to about 160 if you want. Yeah, and they don't care. They let you. <laughs> yeah. You guys, right there on the right, the original Michelli's, that's a, the best Italian food in LA. Um, it's the first pizzeria to open up in LA. President Reagan, Nixon, Kennedy. Here's one of the bars I was talking about, you guys. Cocktails. <laughs> so does anybody know why they put the Hollywood sign up? Homes that have a really good view, most of them start right around three million. Yeah. You don't get any land with that either, you guys. Uh, you, you might not even get a backyard. Those are actually pretty common. There's a lot of them. They're called cliffhangers. You guys, look at the mountain right in front of us, straight up. Yeah. It's been there for a while. I think it's perfect. To be <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> You guys, uh, over there on the left, you follow the mountain all the way forward, and at the end, you can see the big round white building with the black dome top. Yeah. That's the Griffith Observatory. And it's actually... That's a three-level house. The bottom level with the black strip on top, that's the infinity pool. Oh, the infinity pool is really popular. Yep. It's it's nice up there too. I haven't been up I haven't been up there. I just got good pictures with my drone. Yeah, people up here, they just want a view. <laughs> Talladega Nights, he's been in a few movies. He's known for Borat, though. That's his starring, starring. Oh, car, dang cars. I told you he's modest. He's like an average, filthy rich guy. And if anybody's scared of heights, I'm gonna have you look to the right. Woo! <laughs> yeah, this is all San Fernando Valley, you guys. All this. It's the three million dollar view. Uh huh. Our hotel. Right over. I think that's it right there, Nor. I see our hotel. Yep. It's right there. It is. You guys, this this at night. Oh my gosh. Most of Mahone Drive doesn't have street lights. So when you come up here at night, it's just beautiful. Straight behind it, and you'll see the Harry Potter castle, right Where? there, what? straight out on the right, tall black building. Oh, Universal Studios. Universal oh, Studios. Yeah, okay. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. There's a lot going. You, all the buildings that look like airplane hangars, those are all the movie sets for Warner Brothers. But Marvel Studios is down there. Comcast Studios, NBC Studios. <laughs> you guys, this is a cliffhanger right here on the right. The whole front of that guy's house is all glass. Oh. Yeah. Can you imagine that one at night looking out the window? <laughs> now, speaking of earthquakes, I got the opportunity to talk to this guy in this cliffhanger, and he informed me that none of the cliffhangers have earthquake insurance. Nobody, nobody's willing to take the financial risk. Yeah, it's living on the edge. Pay to play. Uh, no. Grand Theft Auto. Okay. It's like a whole, it's like uh, Los Angeles pushed into one map. So it's like you get to drive the city and put in the whole thing. Guitars. He's 
bass player. Small bass player? Yeah. This one right here? Yep, right here on the left. It's nice. yeah, it's uh, that's all new stucco, new windows, everything. That's also the former home of Alex Trebek from Jeopardy. Oh wow. Oh, wow. This is where they all new wall going all, all the way up the drive. I don't know. <laughs> How does one person have that much trash? Wow. So he was only there for two months. <laughs> he bought the house for three point five million and sold it for three point two million. He took a three hundred thousand dollar loss to get away from the tour buses. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is before the pandemic, you guys. Uh, there was like eighty different tour companies out here. That guy never could get in and out of his house without us catching him. Wow. <laughs> Bigger industry than Hollywood. They have a superstar named Shahrukh Khan. This is the second highest paid actor in the world, you guys. He is worth over eight hundred and fifty million dollars. <laughs> And the White House coming up on the left is his. Wow. Seinfeld. <laughs> it's a three bedroom, six bathroom. Three bedroom, six bathroom? Yeah. In Indian so food. Bathroom. Indian food. Spicy. <laughs> 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 A tiny little house. Nice. And then you got the hippie market coming up on the left. <laughs> See what I mean by the painting? It doesn't change. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys, right after the market, look over there on the left, there's a laundry place. But if you look uh, way up above the laundry, that's uh, the former home of Jim Morrison. Oh, you're really stuck on the cocktail thing, huh? Oh, no, the game. oh. oh. <laughs> right up there on the left. Uh, right above it, the house. That was the former home of Jim Morrison. Yes. That's a nice house too. <laughs> This was, it didn't happen by accident. It was planned, like over a hundred years ago. Uh, when they started designing and building Beverly Hills, their idea was to build a unique city that was so unique, the property value would be worth more. And that's what they did. Uh, you guys, the average property in Beverly Hills is $4 million. Yeah, that's the average. The unique part, you're, you're not gonna see another city like Beverly Hills. Uh, to me, the big thing that separates it from all the other cities is the trees. Uh, in fact, you guys, Beverly Hills, it's actually called the city of trees. And the reason why, every street, the trees match. Uh, if you go down the street, you see a palm tree, it's all palm trees. But then you turn the corner, now they're eucalyptus. You turn another corner, they're jacaranda. It doesn't matter. Whatever's on the right is on the left in Beverly Hills. Yeah, that's the worst case of OCD I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, you guys, all the power lines on the main roads, they put them underground. So everything looks open and clean. Uh, they have so many different rules. They don't allow any businesses to put up a billboard for advertising. Yes. Yes. Nice. yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's called pay and stay. <laughs> It's called the House of Bijan, and he is a custom tailor for men. He charges $3,000 for an appointment. That's just to go get measured and pick a fabric. You still got to pay him to make something. And the Rolls Royce, they say it's worth about $1.7 million. Alligator skin mixed in the interior. It's a $1.7 million Rolls Royce. The Lamborghini comes down here and they whoop, and I just roll right by him. Because they get to stop at the light. Yes. Yeah, they're kind of like a glorified Walmart reader. Yeah. 
You guys, this place right here on the right, this is the only one that I can afford. What is it? Ice cream. That's That's ice cream. It, uh, yeah, the white one with four wheels. Yeah. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and the big hotel at the end of the street is the Beverly Wilshire, you guys. That's the pretty woman hotel that Richard Gere stayed at. The rooms there started at 600 a night. have to rewatch the movie now <laughs> you guys the presidential suites of that hotel are twenty-five thousand a night yeah it's a five thousand square foot hotel room five thousand five thousand yes hotel room yeah, i don't know which one's crazier paying 25 grand or thinking you need five thousand square feet for a night yeah he's bad yeah No, he's not dead. I don't think so. Yeah. So you guys, the rooms here start at 600. It's really different for the private bungalows. Right there on the left. Those start at 12,000. They start at 12. They go up to 20. Wow. So you guys, Floyd Money Mayweather, highest paid athlete in the world for one event. Um, the last one with Conor McGregor, he made 100, over 150 million in less than 30 minutes. And right after the fight, he bought this 26 million dollar home right there on the left. This one? That's the backyard on my phone. Oh. Yeah, it's a show house, you guys. He's a show off, so he bought a show house. <laughs> Incredible house, though. So do you guys know who Jerry Bruckheimer is? Famous producer. Yeah, he's the one who did Pirates of the Caribbean, Top Gun, Beverly Hills Cop, Con Air, uh, Bad Boys, Transformers, Armageddon, and he does Lucifer, and CSI. This is the house right here on the right. That's the former home of uh, George Marciano too. The guy who owns Guess, George moved out, Jerry moved in. Cars all over the place. Mm -hmm. 